have a way to include things in your life no matter how hard it is and i'm not saying do them according to a timeline or a standard of people because there are people who can only afford once a week to see their family or maybe twice in a month and it's not because they are doing something that is not an obligation or a responsibility it's just how their purpose or their life has been planned out you know so i feel like find a way in your time to include everything that god has placed in your life because there's a reason why god has placed you in a certain family there's a reason why you've met the people you've met there is a reason why you're in the location you are at the environment you're at so find a way to like appreciate those things in a way that feels true to you and to god not to like the entire world because <laughs> you can't keep up with the world right um the next one is always find something to read and by this you know i've learned a lot from reading i've learned not to like let's say for example when it came to community com Ooh, wee, jesus when it comes to communicating i've always had this issue where i felt like i don't need to say everything that's on my mind which is sometimes true sometimes it's not true you need to be i've learned from reading like let's say td jakes um this book i can't remember it, but it's about communication about how td jakes got to where he is if you listen to td jakes you know the guy is wise let me tell you if there is a type for females i'm telling you td jakes is on top of the list but <laughs> he's like an exceptionally articulate wise like servant of god like he speaks everyone understands him everyone can relate to what he's saying whether you're born again or not td jakes is like he just has the right words convicting words for whatever situation you add you know he's he has an exceptional mind so i've learned like from reading from what he wrote from that book that sometimes it's not about analyzing so much what you need to say it's about saying what you feel you're called to say what you feel is needed to say and you might not get it right all the time but you will get it right at some point because the more you keep giving the more you know something about you changes you know there is no way you can keep giving something and you remain the same way right so yeah keep reading reading teaches you a lot of things like atomic habits has taught me how to you know include small things into my routine where i get better like let's say like today i was to do something different if you listen it's quiet right it's it's not a hundred percent quiet but it's quiet and this is like an opportunity so you find that from reading you understand how to partake pursue opportunities that you are not planning for and to be always be ready for an opportunity right that's a lesson <laughs> the next one is be genuine be real be genuine i think i speak a lot about this but i don't know like throughout my life i feel like i've tried to be genuine a lot like even when i was younger i feel like i'm so proud of the person i was when i was younger and i always look up to my younger self to be better because i feel like when you become an adult you get morphed into this society the rules and you know the pettiness of it that you lose who you are you know have you ever seen like kids the way how they speak or they stand up for like i look at my niece a lot my niece inspires me a lot she's such a wise little girl i won't call her baby because she hates being called a baby but she has a way of if she believes someone is wrong she will stand up and say that's wrong she always has a way of taking care of people whether it's strangers you know when she knows you when she's familiar with you she has this genuine love and she's just a giver and it inspires me and that makes me think a lot about when i was young the type of person i was and to date i still meet people who had a chance to meet me when i was young and the way they speak about me it really inspires me to be better to get back if not to get back to that person to be better and i think 
um even if i've never morphed into or tried to be someone else because i love who i am i feel like it inspires me it motivates me more to be myself you know to be the person i believe god has made me and to accept myself you know in my own skin my flaws and all to take my you know my flaws and use them for god's glory in some sort of way which sometimes doesn't work out right because i'm a human being at the end of the day but i feel like at the end of the day i don't like to this point i can look back at my life and say even in the worst case scenario the worst decisions i've made in my life there is nothing that i look back at and feel a regret that i wish i did not do this as at this thing because i feel like everything has everything i have ever done in my life every person i have allowed into my life everything that i have let go of or a person that i've let go of or a situation i've moved away from i don't regret because i feel like my decision was made from a pure place from a real place so that's another thing um the next one is decide decide who or what defines you so that everything and everyone doesn't take that power from what you've decided is your source of being this i think i've spoken about it throughout the video is about you have to know who you are and sometimes you don't fully know who you are because no one really knows who they are until god reveals it to them but you have an idea of what god expects of you have an idea of like let's say like the things you believe in and you don't know why you believe in those things sometimes there are people who knew like if you look at great people they always knew they will be great even in the worst situations and maybe for uh, they don't know how they believe those things i feel like you need to be true to those things you need to be true to that inner voice in yourself that is never shaken you know even like when you go to a dark phase in your life and you always have that car voice that knows and it knows and it knows this is what i'm going to be and nothing can derail that like you need to stand firm in that you need to trust your intuition that you know because I, I feel like intuition is your spirit and I feel like your spirit always knows what you're supposed to be because it already is and your human form is trying to catch up to your spirit. So I feel like you need to really tune in into your intuition, your gut feeling, your spirit. What your spirit tells you you are, that's who you are, you know. Yeah, so I think that's it and you know, oh before i finish off this one clean up your space every day before going to bed and in bits throughout your day always stay clean always have some sort of order and i know sometimes you get messy like right now i'm looking at my surrounding i woke up i cleaned up my space but i still feel like when i started off uh, this create you know this filming everything is a mess but you know what when i finish up i'm going to clean it up because it makes my mind feel like they are it's like space when there is space physically around you there is space in your mind for better things and always be careful if you create space always make sure you fill that space with more valuable things thank you for watching i love you thank you for this uh, new service thank you for every follower if you follow my blog thank you so much also i'm more active on my blog than i am on other social platforms but i feel like now things are just aligning for me to create more videos for you so thank you so much for being here i love you appreciate you god bless you and be your best self don't compromise your happiness for anyone and don't put your happiness on anyone you know happiness is your responsibility give it only to god and not to human beings love you and cheers